wants to go? Who wants to go? You? Hello everybody. So today is my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, you know. Um, aside from being his birthday, I had a really big day at work. So it was a little stressful wanting to manage um, my work day from the rig in addition to making sure that all the animals were quiet and behaving. <laughs> That's not even possible, but um, they did. I had a big presentation to moderate along with a bunch of other meetings. So they all went well. The internet held up, which was my biggest concern that perhaps, you know, it would blank out during the presentation, but that went well. So it is possible to work from your rig um, with your having a husband and three dogs in a very tight space and still look professional on camera. So I'm grateful that that went well. Um, thank you for the positive vibes and I'm looking forward to other um, big days like today. See you later. Hello everybody. So we are heading out of our second Arizona State Park, right? Is it the second one? Or we, have to, we don't know. Okay. He's the, yeah. the captain. Yeah. And we're heading out to our third one. Um, this was probably one of the nicest ones, I think, in my opinion. It was nicely paved and the scenery was spectacular very quiet nice friendly people around um, the trails were wonderful for the dogs to walk through and um, Minu got a chance to go on a five, uh, 10k run this morning no 10k 5k 5k um, he's uh, doing that only to make me feel guilty and I know that it's gonna be my turn soon but um, you know you know my my story I don't run in the heat so I'm gonna have to find a place where it's a little cold, and that's gonna be Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada might be cold. <laughs> Canada. North Canada. California might be cold. Maybe, maybe in North California. So um, that's when you're gonna see me running. Otherwise, not not gonna happen. So anyway, we are heading out to what's the name of the next place? Uh, we're going to Painted Rocks uh, Petroglyph State Park. By Gila Bend, I think the city in Arizona, which is just a little inside the, uh, just very close to California uh, state line. Okay, so now you have it from the captain. But before we do all that, we have to do some provisions, get some provisions and get some more water because another quick tip. Um, the state water is nice and all, but not good for drinking for the puppies. So we have to get them um, bottled water because they got a little bit of Montezuma's revenge, all three of them. So we gotta keep an eye on what they, you know, on not only what they eat, 
but also have to get them um, bottled water. So um, we're on our way to the grocery store to get them water and to get some other stuff for ourselves. Okay, so keep you posted. getting cooked from the inside out yeah. so we were gonna stay here tonight because um, you know uh, it seemed like it was a, a, a pretty good idea because um, you know it's very historic there are these um, writings or painted stories on each of these rocks if you can see um, and they all have find out what it means and I guess that's what you're supposed to do but it's way too hot way too windy and I'm starting to feel a little scared thing we didn't mention there's no power there's no water there's no bathroom so we would have to and it's 102 degrees so we would have to stay all night um, with the generator running and that's probably not a good idea so we've decided right yeah we're not staying Plus, uh, home of the oh. Arizona rattlesnake oh yeah oh so look at that Rig is not one There's holes that they can climb into. So, thank you, honey. This was a great idea. Not so much. So, we were thinking that these were, oh, you see, even right there, if we were thinking those were palm trees in the middle of the desert, there's some more. Um, but they're not. They are, what are they, Minu? Date trees. Date trees. So, they're and, dates. And we are regarding in date land. We're in Arizona. Dateland, Arizona. So, no wonder it's called Dateland because they grow date trees. Yeah. Fun fact, fun fact, guys, fun fact. So, Minu, here's a train. Do you want to try to see if you can speed up and try to catch it? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. That <laughs> wouldn't be a good thing. It could be dangerous. I'm traveling with a woman and three dogs. I wouldn't be a daredevil right now. No, 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 no. Good answer, good answer. But Teresa likes watching them, right, baby boy? You like watching the tree to trains? <laughs> so this seems familiar. Remember when we had to do this? Where was that? Um, Texas, somewhere? I don't know, but we had to wait for the train to go. It was in, uh, it was, it was in New Mexico, I think for Blue Water Lake uh, State Park, where when we turned, we ended up having to wait for a train to get out of the way. Chorizo is mesmerized by the trains. Maybe it's because it's a, it sounds like a choo-choo, choo-choo. He's that. my brother. I'm Cho-Cho and he's Choo-Choo. Yes. Look like. oh. This 
could go on for, oh no, we could see the end of it coming. Almost done. It's almost done. And then we're going to arrive at our new destination, which was um, changed mid-plan because we didn't want to stay in that scary place where there was lots of wind and lots of heat and no one there. So we found another place to stay and um, we're headed there and it's called Oasis. And we're going to be turning left up here somewhere, Manu. A little further. A little further. Oop, and, um, yep, this is where we're going to stay. I don't know, Manu, it doesn't look a lot better than where we were before, but we'll see. At least it's got electricity. It had some good ratings. And it had good ratings? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll hope for the best. We got ourselves um, some beverages and... We'll tomorrow I have to wake up uh, for a 6.30 meeting, so we have to be up super early, so it's a good night, good, um, early to bed, early to rise. There it is, Oasis RV Park. Um, just take it all in. Take all of this in. These, these dogs. They're, they, they just, I don't know. Look at this. She has gained like 20 pounds while we are on the road. We, on the other hand, have lost some weight. So we are leaving the Aztec Oasis RV Park and it was such a pleasant stay here. Um, it was kind of like a, a little nugget that we found by just, you know, that wonderful world of the internet. Um, after going to that place that was scary, so we ended up staying at this part and look how pretty it is. Now we are heading to California. California. Um, it should be it should be only a, sh a short two hours and some change. Two hours and a half. Yep, two hours and a half, and um, then we'll be in uh, sunny California. And uh, we're sporting our vintage T-shirts. You see, there you go. You know, just to be on par with those people from the West. Um, anyway, we'll talk to you later and um, positive vibes. So our refrigerator kind of went on the blitz. It says it's 60 degrees inside. That's not good. So we have to take everything out and buy these little containers. So now all of our food is in the container and so we're just putting some um, ice in there and that's all of our provisions. Um, so that uh, hopefully by tomorrow morning, the, the refrigerator will be cool enough to put our, all of our food back in there. But uh, we don't know why that happened. Do you know why that happened? I believe it's because uh, we put some food that wasn't uh, up previously uh, cooled and humidity built up on the fins and iced the, uh, the, the probe for the fridge and so the probe couldn't get a good reading so it wasn't cooling the fridge anymore and the temperature went up to 45, 46 degrees so yeah. that wasn't good. Okay, alright. Thank you so much sir for that informative um, detail of why the refrigerator is not working. What you doing Manu? Making a quick repair because this panel was um, the screw that no uh, finishing washer on them and it was popping out. Uh, out it was going through the uh, the panel, so I want to fix it so that uh, it stays nice for a longer period. So I got these little finishing washers and then installing them where the screws are, are coming out through the. Uh,
through the veneer. I can, that's what it is. Isn't it? You're such a handy man. Try to. <laughs> <laughs> 